Now I have, uh, not an appointment, but a meeting with friends I gotta get to relatively soon, so I doubt this is going to be a very long video. But hopefully I can at least, if not, finish this dungeon. I then finish and get out, so you, I believe yeah, I do have a magic or item that will immediately immediately get me out of there. But I will at least get the plot significant item. And there's the bird rat guy whose name I've already forgotten. Grizz? Yeah, Grizz. And I maybe should have grinded a little bit. Get Grizz up to level, at least level 8. But the way I figure he's already got the uh, highest ranking weapons and armor he can have. I don't think he's going to suffer that much, if at all. He's a bit of a tank. Bit of a beefy guy. Just saying. If I remember those... What were they? The fungus looking guys, the green guys. Can poison ya. So watch out for that. 59 experience, 160 mizada. And I'm on a mate. And a surprise attack, lovely. Toadstool. Which I guess makes sense, the toadstool is a kind of mushroom. I believe it's a uh, poisonous mushroom, which kind of makes the whole Princess Toadstool and Super Mario a little questionable. But hey, what do I know? And when did Princess Toadstool officially become Princess Peach, was it? No, I don't want to go there yet. Was that Super Mario 64? Because I'm pretty sure up until then it was uh, Princess Toadstool, not Peach. Peach makes a little more sense, I mean... For one, it's named after a sweet fruit and not a bloody mushroom. Oh, you know what, hands got enough HP, I guess. Unless he gets poisoned by one of these guys. Which is always a concern. And yeah, I can probably heal him right away, but I figure I've got enough speed to kill that last guy before I uh, get killed myself. Five hundred minutes they die day, so that's worth it. Oh, one thing about this game that's a uh, bit of a convenience, but can kind of throw you off a little bit. Um, depending on how close uh, entrance is or a path, 
when you're locked up. See, I'm not pressing it. I'm pressing the button there. When I lock here, I press up. And it has me go across the pass. I, I think that's a little nifty. Kind of a nice added touch. Can be a little annoying when you're trying to wall hog, but not that big a deal. I am hoping to get a new source of employment coming next. Actually, it be this week, because today's Sunday. Like, starting Monday, I'm hoping to get a new job, because the place I was at before is closed down for the season, and, you know... While it is close to Christmas, I'm not honestly expecting to, uh... get anything immediately. Be nice to at least know that I have something, you know, after the holidays are over or after New Year's is over, you know. Ease my mind a little bit. That'd be kind of a nice thing, but I'm not exactly, you know, holding my brass. But for no other reason than the both immediate regions where I am able to work are, I believe, in red. Or about to go in red. I'm not 100% certain. So, uh, you know. Looking for work is uh, going to be difficult because I don't think any very many places are going to necessarily be uh, allowed to be open unless they're considered a necessary service. Now it is quite shocking what are considered necessary services. Um, so when you think about it, it makes a little sense. I was working at a greenhouse nursery before and I will by no means consider a greenhouse a necessary service but apparently it is and in hindsight it makes sense because you know plants are alive and you know if you don't have anybody to take care of them they die and you know can't have all those plants die, so I guess it makes uh, little sense for them to be considered a necessary service, though it's not exactly necessary for humanity. Arguably, anyways. I'm sure there are likely many who will probably disagree with me, but I don't exactly consider house plants for decoration to be a uh, overall necessity but you know that's my opinion and you know opinions are not a fact so just saying Oh well. Unfortunately, due to the uh, Christmas rush, we are done now. So if I were to get back, there would be sometime during the uh, after New Year's, probably for the Easter rush. But I'm really hoping to find something else, if for no other reason than it's a uh, long ways to get there, and I have to pay someone gas money to get there. Or yeah, it's less convenient to take a bus overall, but you save a hell of a lot of money doing so. Versus paying like over $10 a day for gas. 
And he... Titan Crown. And all I knew is that I should have, should have known anyway that there was a... Uh, if not a Titan Crown, a Titan something, so I... Well, it's been a little smart to have, um... Waited and bought it later, but... I mean, I get to sell it anyway. I don't consider losing money. I consider gaining experience. Antidote. Anything in here? Nope. And a whole lot of frogs and people are getting a little low on health. This is going to be a little nerve wracking. But fortunately, my high speed has uh, gotten everyone safe. Joys of overleveling. As I said, I honestly do not believe in being overleveled. I cannot stress that enough. I am of the opinion that there is no such thing as being overleveled. I'm also of the opinion that most games try to level up with you. I think a game shall have areas where if you're not supposed to go there, the enemies are of a significantly high level and you know, okay, this is where I have to stop. But I don't get too upset when a game levels up with you so long as it's done correctly. I've already been that way, never mind. But yeah, um... Final Fantasy VIII kind of done the leveling up system wrong, leveling it up with you. I mean, I do thoroughly enjoy that game, but I mean, it's I enjoy it despite its many, many flaws. The Elder Scrolls game. Games. I'm pretty sure Daggerfall levels up with you. But I'm not a hundred percent certain. But anyways, that game does it right. And in case you haven't noticed, that door is locked. In fact, I will go back and waste a few seconds of time. Plus risk a random battle or two just to show you. You can't go through that way. That is if my memory is correct. Or should I be honest, it may very well not be. But there you go. Fortunately, someone or something has like a very convenient corridor or pathway or what have you. All the way to what you need to pick up. What is very ever so convenient, in my unhumble opinion. But hey, it's a video game, it has to progress somehow. Even if that progression is awfully convenient.
Spike him above where you can really need it. In case you haven't noticed. There is a treasure chest that's already open. I've always wondered what was already playing that treasure. Oh crap, is he poisoned? Poisoned, oops, sorry. Poisoned and of low. Paralyzed. Okay, um. I'll use a uh, monomate. Which is a little more than the magic. There's the Ash line. Ash line. Not sure why they named it that. Maybe someone just got drunk and typed randomly on the keyboard. Definitely looks like a bottle of cheap liquor. And yes, of course, you can come along. His town was destroyed by Zio. He's looking for revenge. And I am not going to deny anybody revenge unless it's against someone I like. Or myself. And even then, even if it's someone I like. Even I will confess, you know what? Maybe they have it coming. So... You know... Try not to get in people's way. And I've already forgotten that tall guy's name. Uh, Him and Chaz don't really like each other, but at least not yet, but... I mean, plot progression, you know, damn well something's going to happen where... They either get more hostile towards each other or become some sort of weird buddy-buddy relationship, even if it's a frenemy relationship. And the way I have, like, my relationships, I have a lot of frenemies. Well, I shouldn't say that. Of the very friendships I have, I have a lot of frenemies. Which is the way I like it, because it gets me thinking. It gets me out of my... Comfort zone is the wrong word, but... It gets me thinking in a way that I normally wouldn't otherwise think. Which is why I value my frenemy relationships. And it's why I highly recommend to you and everyone else that you start looking for people to uh, have a sort of odd relationship with where they may never see eye to eye, but they value each other's company anyways. Thanks for watching everybody, take care and bye.